Hi, I'm Jake Reister, and welcome to this week's edition of Ask a Developer. Our first question comes from Tracy, who wants to know, how do I make my web app update in real time? Uh, good question, and there are kind of a lot of ways to go about this, actually. And uh, it depends on how much control over you have over the uh, API you're using or where you're getting your data from. Uh, unfortunately, if you don't have any control over it, and the uh, API doesn't provide any built-in way to do real-time, you're probably going to have to fall back to polling, which is literally just sending a request every so often and seeing what new data you get. Now, this obviously isn't very efficient, but it does work. However, if you do have control over the, the API and where your data is coming from, there are a lot better ways to handle it. Uh, using things like server sent events or WebSockets, you can actually get communication directly from the server to the client, and in the case of WebSockets, back to Way Channel. So that actually opens up the possibility for real-time communication where you can literally send messages as the events happen. Um, and there's actually a bunch of ways uh, you can kind of abstract away some of these differences. There's some great libraries that do it for you. Uh, depending on what language you're running on the server side. A big one is called Socket.io, uh, that's for Node.js, and that actually takes care of everything. It has fallbacks for all the different browsers. It'll fall back to polling if your browser doesn't support WebSockets and things. Um, and so that allows you to kind of sort of put aside all those differences and really just focus on the actual data that's being sent back and forth. And if you're just starting from scratch, there's actually frameworks built even another layer on top of that. Um, such as Meteor or Sales or Derby, which are whole MVC frameworks built all around real time. So your whole app can be real time from the ground up. Our next question today comes from John, who wants to know, how can I make my animations run smoothly on mobile devices? Uh, that's a good question. Um, that's gonna depend a lot on what exactly you're animating. Uh, mobile devices, and actually all web browsers in general, are very good at animating certain properties, uh, specifically CSS transforms, which is position, scale, and rotation, as well as opacity. And so fades and things like that should be smooth on most mo modern mobile devices. Any other properties are going to be kind of hit or miss depending on how powerful the device is. Um, and if you are animating something custom where you need to run JavaScript in every frame, make sure that you're using request animation frame instead of timeouts. That'll give you more uh, consistent performance and uh, allow you to make sure you're not running code too often or too infrequently. And as with most things, uh, the biggest thing you can do is really just test and tweak. Uh, there's some great dev tools out there that allow you to see you know, where you're eating up your time and check your frame rate to make sure you're staying at or about that 60 frames per second mark. So just give it a try and see what happens. That's it for this week's edition of Ask a Developer. As always, tweet your questions using the hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments.